Passing by this plain white roadside tent in Downey, California, most drivers wouldn't have a clue it contains a full-scale replica of a space shuttle. After spending the last 10 years in a warehouse collecting dust, the model was moved to this basic unlit venue while its former home, the nearby complex where the Apollo lunar modules and space shuttles were created, is being demolished. For Jerry Blackburn, the wooden model symbolizes the storied past of the Downey NASA site, where he and about 30,000 other technicians and engineers made history. Well, the Downey site represents Southern California's richest aerospace heritage. Over its 80-year period, it saw aircraft from the early days and through the war. It saw missiles uh, from the early development of cruise, tech cruise missile technology and it saw spacecraft. The spacecraft period for Downey consisted of the Apollo program and each of all of the Apollos were designed and built here along with the service module which was an integral part of that system and then the uh, space shuttles. Uh, the space shuttle program each of the orbiters that, that flew were uh, built, the crew modules and the aft sections were all built right here at this site. Endeavour, the last of the shuttles, was finished here in 1992. 20 years later, it's headed back to Southern California to a retirement home in Los Angeles at the California Science Center. But even as the region rolls out the red carpet for Endeavour, its birthplace is being leveled. It's an artifact that is coming to our community that's going to be here in Los Angeles. But the artifact is not the story. There's a story behind that vehicle. After NASA contracts wound down in 1999, the 160-acre site was shut down and eventually sold to the city of Downey. The shopping mall was built on part of the site. Now the remaining buildings are being cleared for another commercial development, ironically named Tierra Luna Marketplace. There was a, a large revenue base in terms of the employees and the uh, products that were generated at this site. The city lost that. This is a very complex and difficult problem. How do you balance the equation of economic progress and future with the historical legacy imperatives? Mr. Blackburn is the president of the Aerospace Legacy Foundation, which seeks to preserve and promote the history of the site. For him and other former employees, this complex was more than just a place to work. We were a family. We were a family here. Uh, besides that, we were working on mankind's most incredible project. We had a commitment from the President of the United States to put men on the moon. The Foundation currently operates out of this small, cluttered office. The piles of irreplaceable Space Age relics include this piece of Apollo 17's heat shield, this thermal tile from the space shuttle, and this piece of Apollo 13. I think that we are in danger of losing the aerospace history here in Southern California. Without a commitment on the part of the community, of the, of the, uh, of the public officials, that this is important, that this is a treasure, who's going to do it? In Downey, California, this is Andy Pastor for the Wall Street Journal.